Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at screen time for iOS 12. Now this syncs across iCloud so that you have settings on one device, it will go to all of your iOS 12 devices. Uh, and if you do have problems setting up screen time, it's probably because you need to be a parent on the account to allow this. And I made a video talking about that fix, which I'll leave in the description. But if you go into settings, you can see the screen time option. Now there's five things. Up top, you have your device name, and it gives you how much usage you have been doing. This is your total time on the phone for that given day. You go and you see the today tab, and then the last seven days, which will give you day by day. It'll give you the average, it'll give you the total time for that day. So now the social networking, which is just the category in general. And then you have the specific application. So Snapchat, Twitter message, etc and you can keep going you can see the applications if you click on the hourglass it'll quickly allow you to set a time limit uh, per day for the application going down further you also see the pickups this will tell you how many times you picked up your phone uh, give you the average once every six minutes or so uh, and most in a certain hour it'll tell you that as well and then finally you have notifications it will show you all the notifications that you have gotten you've received so whether they are active notifications or they're just badges it will show that here and you can see that again for today or the last seven days Going down, you have downtime. So this is something that it will basically restrict your applications during this set amount of time. So you have a start and you have an end date. And across all your iCloud devices, it will block you from using all apps except for the always allowed applications. So when you have this, you go ahead and choose which applications you want to use stuck on. So these are the applications that I might need uh, and I don't want to have restricted from me. Now, currently, this is pretty buggy. In fact, all of the aspects of this are pretty buggy. So when you tap something to choose it, there is a couple second delay. So it's a bit tedious to add applications, but when you do, that is how you do it. App Limits allows you to set certain time periods uh, that you're allowed to use certain applications. Uh, for example, if you want to set an application or a limit for games, you can add that and how much time that you want to do, and you can customize the day. So if you want it yourself or somebody else, you know, a kid, uh, to only allowed to play for 30 minutes on Sunday, well, you can go ahead and make that setting. You can't adjust it. You have to delete the limit and make a new one if you want to change it. And finally, there's content and privacy restrictions, which goes right into the restrictions on your phone. You have to set a screen time password in order for this to work. So if you do that, then you can put restrictions on it. This is currently very glitchy, and I haven't gotten it to work at all. It is, it is tied in with your restrictions, uh, but iOS 12 has messed up my restrictions password. But that is generally what you can do. You can put different limits on what somebody is allowed to do. And of course, you can see your family usage. So if you're an adult, you can see what other people are using. A little bit creepy, um, depending on what the situation is in an iCloud family account. And then you can disable the screen time passcode, which I'm going to do, because otherwise, when you have it turned on, when you go into an application, it will gray out the application. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we set an app limit. So we set downtime. And we make it start at 11 p.m and end at, sure, 7 a.m. We'll go ahead and go into that. So theoretically, all my applications that I do not have on my clean list uh, would be grayed out. Again, like I said, this is a little bit glitchy, so it'll take some time. But when it does, the applications will go gray. When I open up the application, it will say, you are out of time for this. You can go ahead and ignore it and type in the passcode if you do have one set. Otherwise, you just tap ignore, and you can do it for 15 minutes, or you can do it for the whole day. But that is essentially a screen time. It allows you to see what you're doing on your phone, how much time you're doing what, as well as set restrictions. Again, it's very buggy right now, um, but hopefully it will be fixed soon. It'll be a cool way to kind of monitor and try to prevent you from using excessive amount of time on a device. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to stay tuned for more videos. Check out idownloadblog.com. Thanks for watching.